Can anybody see the tag on this thing? <sighs> nah, who cares? I may not can find the tag on this shirt, but I do know the three best tags in the air raid. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the 92 Mesh Group Chalk Talk Series. This is Coach Coltharp out of North Carolina. And tonight, I really wanted to talk about something that's, that's kind of been on my mind lately. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of guys on the internet right now talking about, um, you know, tagging plays and how things get, can be made differently. And I had, a, I had a coach call me yesterday or DM me yesterday and ask, and ask me about tagging during game week. Like, do you take a certain set of tags into this week and then a certain set of tags into next week and things like that? And, and so I thought what we would talk about in today's video is is my three favorite tags. Um, my philosophy on tags is this. I, I really feel like if you if you go into a week and you have a set of tags and then the next week you have a different set of tags, that defeats the concept of the magic rep. I, I think every one of your plays has to have certain tags that you're looking for. And, and if you're trying to, you know, get fancy with tags, I think the simplicity element of the air raid really goes out the window. And, and so for me, I, I try to keep a, a stock set of tags. And then, you know, if I see something on Saturday that somebody's doing that I really like, I look at another uh, option. But, you know, as always, we always talk about it. You know, the, my three favorite letters, CBA. There's got to be a cost benefit cost benefit analysis you know is is the time that you're putting in worth the you know the the result that you're going to get from that play so if i put something in something has to come out because time is finite so what are my my three favorite tags well my first set is uh it's going to come off a cross and if you haven't seen coach Mackey's videos he's, he's done a good job this week talking about some tags off a cross um my, my number one tag off a cross is post and, you know, I, I like to run, you know, X post in particular. But I, I think that if you're, if you're not running your verticals off of 95, if you are, uh, you know, putting a post on it, I, I think you're really missing out. I, I, think, I think you're missing on the home run ball because if you're constantly running the post, constantly running the post, the home run ball is just not going to be there. And so, you know, as the Y goes under Sam and over Mike, you're hoping to influence the free safety on that deal, and eventually he's going to start jumping, 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 then the guy in the box tells you, and then you check X post. Um, <clears throat> the, the other one would be is if the strong safety starts chasing Y, you can check Z post. And those are two really good, good things. Um, I also had a question because we talked about what you can do with H in 95. And, and here's my opinion on that. You know, find something that you like and stay to it because if you're, if you're tagging H out of 95, why are you running 95? You know, the purpose of running 95 is to hit the middle of the field, you know, 18 to 22 yards down the field. If you're tagging H to get something special out of H, you know, run shallow, run flat, don't get cute. You know, don't try to be you know, something that you don't have to be. So my first tag would be 95, and then we'll tag X or Z post out of that. My second one I stole from Matt Mummy. Matt Mummy loves this play, especially down towards the goal line. It's, it's, not, a bad, it's not a bad shot down there, I can tell you that. Um, but it's off of Y stick. And, uh, you know, you guys, if you haven't seen my video, you need to look at my Y stick video. I'll put the, uh, the link in uh, the description and, and, and a little card in the video so you can go check that one out. Um, you know, everybody knows that, that my favorite quick game is Y stick, but this is off of Y stick. And, and what it is, is stick Z post. Okay, once again, there's that post idea, but basically what you're doing is you're messing with a nosy free safety. Now, let me clarify something. Just because you tag doesn't change the progression and it doesn't change the rules. Okay? So we're still going to go one, two, three, and then if we get press coverage, we look back side. Okay, so PCBS is always the rules in our quick game. So if we get press coverage, we're going to look back side to the joker combination and work that. 
But I love this, especially when we get that safety coming down and making the hit a couple of times, especially, you know, you throwing wide stick on first down. That safety's getting fussed at because, you know, no defensive coordinator in the world likes second and five, and so now you're in trouble. So that's my second one. And then my last one, I mean, I would be remiss if I did not tell you that one of my favorite tags has to do with my favorite play, and that's and that's mesh. And it's, it's nothing revolutionary. Everybody does it. But for me, it's mesh wheel. And we run this one so much that it's actually in our progression. You know, it's in our day two install. You know, that's our, our play is wheel off of that. And so basically what we do is when we run wheel, you know, Z is going to post it up. And then R is coming and then H is coming out of the backfield. But once again, high, swing, front side, back side, shoot. And remember, in mesh, our rules are, and this is what we tell all of our backs, and, and H's in particular, if you're running a swing or an arrow and you get to the sideline, convert it to a wheel. So they get those reps, they understand. But that's my third favorite tag, which is mesh, mesh wheel. Hopefully that gives you some ideas. I really think you, you can't go crazy with tags. and You know, you can tag all kind of stuff. But don't try to be too smart. I think the best thing about the air raid is doing what you do, hang your hat on it, and worry about executing the, the simplicity of the offense. Hey, this is Coach Coltharp again from North Carolina. If you haven't checked out the website, go check it out, www.92meshgroup.com. We're really excited about the total air rate system dropping on Wednesday. Um, we've worked really hard to try to get it to get it to where you guys can, can really get it. And think about this now, like we talked about the other day. You're going to pay 50 bucks to go to a clinic. You're going to pay 50 bucks to share a room with your boy. You're going to spend 50 bucks on food and adult beverages at the clinic. That's 150 bucks. Well, for $99.99, you can get an entire offense from practice to championships and learn how to spin it to win. <laughs>